For St. Pete Clearwater, we are known worldwide by our beaches. Uh, 35 miles of white sandy beaches along the Gulf of Mexico that have been recognized by uh, everything from a trip advisor uh, to Dr. Beach, a number of different third party entities touting how fun they are, how wonderful they are, how relaxing they are. So that's number one. And then number two is the vibe of the communities that we have that we represent. Uh, we have 24 different communities that depending on where you're going, you get a different vibe. You get very upscale. There's another one where it's very quiet and relaxing. Another one where there's lots of activities going on. So it really depends upon your mood. Uh, that you have when you're visiting. Tourists looking for sun and, and sand uh, are uh, beginning to look uh, for uh, other experience. Uh, what do we offer, for example, at a cultural and gastronomic level? Food, I will say right off the top, is probably one of the best things we have going. And part of it is the fact is that you're not going to find chain restaurants. You're going to find local uh, establishments by local businesses that have a unique flavor. So whether you're looking and you uh, want to find um, good Cuban food, we have that. But yet if you want good seafood, you have that. One of the best restaurants that I've seen takes uh, soul food and combines it with seafood to have like a Caribbean soul kind of feel to it. But yet it's, uh, it's, a new, it's a new restaurant by somebody locally in the market. So again, no matter where you're at, there's something different that you can try that helps fill that gastronomic need that, that you're looking for. Uh, the Argentines uh, like the uh, museum. Uh, there's a number of museums here. So Dali being probably the highlight. But I also like glass art to where you can see glass being blown, glass creation. So going to the Imagine Museum as an example or the Chihuly exhibit and seeing that is incredible. But it's, it's going into like the arts district and being able to see somebody create or you can even go through and create this masterpiece that then you can take home with you. Okay. What is the uh, way to get to St. Peter Gli Water? It's easy. Air connection uh, or the vehicle? So getting here is relatively easy. You're probably going to connect either through Miami or you're going to connect uh, through um, Orlando, maybe on a nonstop. You can get to Tampa International, which is the major airport here in the, the Tampa Bay area, um, again, on a variety of different airlines. It's uh, true uh, that Clearwater was the home, the famous a winter dolphin? Yes. Uh, again, one of the great places to come visit is the Clearwater Marine Aquarium. And over the years, I mean, thousands of people would go there to see winter. Winter was a dolphin that lost its tail and they went through rehab and they created a new tail for this uh, dolphin um, so that they, it could live in the pools that you have there at the aquarium. And then on top of that, they created a series of movies. Um, all about winter, which brought in thousands of people, and especially kids, all wanting to see winter. Uh, okay, okay. Um, is the uh, family destination or for a specific uh, profile uh, tourist? How about both? We like both family, but we also like, you know, it might be couples. It might be older couples, that, in other words, they don't have kids in, the, in their family anymore, or it might be people that are just starting out. We really have an experience for everybody, so we're not just known for one thing. Is it a year-round destination? Oh, most definitely we're a year-round destination. And again, during, you know, a figure from Argent Argentinians, during our summer is your, is your winter, so you're going to want to come up here. But yet the best time to be up here might be uh, going through in our winter time, which would be your summer. So again, it's what you want to do and what you want of that, that Florida trip. What role does a tourist play in the economic 
So tourism is extremely important to our uh, uh, county and to our cities. Um, in fact, international visitors represent about 12% of our total visitation. But you got to keep in mind that the economic impact year-round by visitors, all visitors, um, in, in 2021 was $9 billion uh, U.S. dollars. Okay, okay.